Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat. Today we're going to finish off the ring domination for the Master of the Yeet himself main event, Jay Uso. We've already got his brother Jimmy Uso and of course his other brother Solus Koa. So I'm very curious as to what we'll get from the heroic side. But let's go ahead and finish off the remaining three shards before we get into the heroic side of ring domination. We're also training up two Obafemis that we're going to pro as well. So I'm going to use them in the bottom left corner so that the, obviously the weaker one first, so that the stronger one can beat the weaker one. Remember, every single game that they play adds to their number of matches. I'm deliberately keeping them lower than level 100 so that... Uh, so they keep the the difficulty of the deck down. Let's go ahead and use big old Ah Stone called Steve Austin. I say what? The North American Championship. I think that's a belt that Stone Cold hasn't had before, and that Stone Cold would like. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> Cody Rhodes taking it to Kofi Mania. And let's finish it off with an L.A. Knight. Yeah! And with that win, we have secured ourselves. Oh, and we've got a 24-7 championship, so we'll have to go and do that as well. But let's go ahead and do this very quickly. Hopefully we don't run out of time in the 24-7 championship. And there we go, we have our Yeet Uso himself. Make sure to lock that down, make sure you don't go accidentally dusting that. You shouldn't be allowed to dust this, but sometimes it does, as you can see right there. But let's run back out here. Of course, here's the Heroic Ring Domination. I'm going to screenshot that as well. We need to finish this up real fast so that we can click back out of here we can go into 24 7 championship and defend it before it's too late the undertaker hiding in a bin to try and snag the 24 7 championship off of cody Rhodes, just like in real life this is the iron sheik himself sheiky baby so we're going to start with the tag match. Let's put in the two-man power trip. That's Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was an actual tag team. Next is a female tag. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because these two don't tag with each other. There's Jade Cargo and Naomi. Even though they did tag fantastically with each other at WrestleMania. Now it looks like they've overcome their differences. The last one is going to be a solo match. We're going to put in the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes himself. And with the crossroads to Logan Paul. That is another 24-7 championship one. We are now on a 40-win streak with the 24-7 championship. But let's take a quick look at the heroic side. So we can't really tell much here. There we are. We are into the heroic side. So the next video that I'll have should be getting the, you can also see it says the heroic underneath uh, the big Yeet Uso himself, the Uso of Yeet, because he does not like to <laughs> call himself. Also, this equipment can get this done. There we go. That upgrades that. But let's take a quick look at our... Most recent male, of course, Jay Uso himself. Now there's our Jimmy Uso. There is our main event, Jay Uso. So let's see, what other images do we have? Could go really old school. But that's not what we're going to go with. That one's not so terrible, actually. It's unfortunate we don't have one with the, the completed tattoo. 
that's what I would like. Because of course these were before he had the tattoo finished. There's the tattoo finished, but unfortunately it has that big white line around the outside of it. Ah, uh, there we go. It's not the best pose he's ever been in, but we do have the completed tattoo. And of course the other ones he is wearing, that's the main event. And the other one is the Yeet outfit. I think the Yeet outfit is actually not so terrible. It's maybe one of the better ones that we have thus far. And that is of course back from when he was part of the Bloodline, I believe. It says We The Ones on it. Yeah, we've got a whole variety of different images for Jey Uso. And I think we're just going to keep with this one. I think this is actually the best one. <coughs> it was a tie by a cough. I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. But it does say the Yeet across it, which is the most recent, most up-to-date version of Jey Uso. So I think this is the one we're going to stick with. And we're not going to level him up to level 100, not just yet. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Heroic Ring Domination. And we're going to edit one of these cards that has already been fairly maxed out, which is going to be L.A. Knight. Yeah, because this is, I think, the weakest of the Hang on, let me just take a quick look here. I need to see <coughs> all the male WrestleMania 40s. And yes, it seems that Triple H is just a tiny bit stronger than LA Knight. Is that true? Is that because of the equipment? If we detach this equipment and we detach the Triple H equipment. Yeah. This. This LA Knight that is from the PvP event is actually weaker than the Battle Pass Triple H. And this Battle Pass Triple H will become even stronger. It will get a fortified one as well. However, the Cody Rhodes, without his 100 matches, is seemingly stronger, but I think I've got momentum on this Cody Rhodes here. So that really, cra that's really crazy. That really confuses me about LA Knight, but wow. And we're going to continue training up the the t-shirt there. So we're going to go back into the heroic side. And we're going to swap out LA Knight, it seems, for our brand new. He's all the way down here. Our brand new J Uso. Because the J Uso, we do know that we are definitely going to get a pro of him. Because I will be getting the heroic pro and we're going to leave him on level 0, so that he's actually the weakest card. So, this Obafemi actually has higher stats because he has 70 of his matches done. And this one is level 0, who has slightly smaller stats, I believe. He does have slightly smaller stats because he doesn't have any of this leveled up. Once all of this levels up, then he is going to skyrocket through that. He's going to be very, very powerful, especially when we get the heroic side. And of course, when we get the double heroic, he's going to be on stats similar to our big old Undertaker over here. So there we are, folks. That's it for this little video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. I'm going to continue playing this while I do my outro. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Now there's a future title match. And that's how I expected it to go as well. Goodbye, everybody.